Hello Veritrek Exploration Tool users! In this video tutorial, we will go through a description and a brief demonstration that will explain how and why you want to use the surface plot analysis feature of the Veritrek Exploration Tool. A surface plot analysis is most effective in the middle stages of the design process. It allows a user to select two input factors to perform two factor sweeps in order to determine the trade-offs between multiple input factors and output responses. Normally, a surface plot analysis is very computationally expensive and can take days or weeks to perform. However, Veritrek helps overcome this computation cost by utilizing a reduced order model, which allows a user to obtain just as significant results in a matter of seconds. We will now look at the surface plot analysis feature of the Veritrek exploration tool. The first step is going to be to set up a surface plot analysis from the home menu under the video tutorial session that we have already created. So we are going to right click on video tutorial session and from the context menu that appears we're going to select add new surface plot analysis. We will then be asked to enter a name for our new surface plot analysis. I'm going to enter an analysis name and click OK. And there, now we have created a surface plot analysis. As you can see, there are default inputs and outputs selected which are already showing a surface plot analysis graph. However, you can change these parameters to fit your model requirements. You can enter in or change input variables here in the input factor pane. You can then select different output responses here in the output response pane. The Veritrek exploration tool very clearly shows how the input factors relate to the output responses. In this case, component interface heat transfer coefficient does not have a significant impact on the maximum temperature of our model. It can be observed that as the component interface heat transfer coefficient increases, the maximum temperature decreases by about 15 degrees before reaching a minimum and increasing by about 15 degrees. However, in-plane thermal conductivity has a more significant impact on the maximum temperature of our model, as very low values for in-plane thermal conductivity correlate to maximum temperature values 100 degrees higher than higher values for in-plane thermal conductivity. Other surface plot analyses can be performed in this exact same way, and you can take the results from these surface plot analyses to move forward in the design process. Thank you for watching this video and look to our other Veritrek Exploration Tool video tutorials for examples using the other analysis features, as well as more general help and explanation of the Veritrek Exploration Tool.